today on Mini Days, I'm going to be showing you how I made these DIY Easter pictures. Here we go. So I'm going to paint these old photo frames that I've had in the cupboard for I don't even know how long. Because it's just for decorative purposes that I haven't caded the wood underneath or sanded it or anything, I've just gone straight on with some grey paint. Now this is just grey emulsion that I found in a tester pot and I've put in a, a nice generous coat of paint on here. I ended up having to put two coats on really to hide the colour underneath. And then once that was dry, I've just brushed on um, a coat of white emulsion. It's just me leftover Rust-Oleum paint. I'll leave a link down below if you really want to know what I've used. Now, I must say I didn't quite wait for the grey to dry before I started doing this because I felt like the white dragged on quite nicely. Um, it just gave the wood a more of a textured finish. But obviously I made sure that this brush strokes were going in the right direction so it didn't look a mess. And then made sure I went all around the edges but not not really trying to put the paint everywhere in every gap so there was still little bits of grey shown through they did look quite good when they were finished when one coat was finished oh let me just show you the dog there is snow everywhere i feel so sorry for her because she loves the snow but she, it clings to her fur and you think this is bad i'm going to put some photos on at the end of this video to show you what she was like later on that day um oh how does this even happen <laughs> Getting back to the DIY. So here is the photo frames um, with the one coat of the white paint on. So I just I did like this distressed look, but it just needed to be a bit more white. So I went ahead and gave it another coat of white paint. So you can actually, I don't know if you can see in the photo, but you can see um, in, the, in the video, I should say, not the photo, um, a little bits of grey still. So they still look quite good. Now to create the backgrounds, I lay piece of the glass from one of the frames on some hessian and then just use some chalk to draw around it. So this gives me the exact size I need. And then with some sharp scissors I just cut out the hessian. I did have two here, two layers, but I only ended up using one just in case you're wondering. So I cut this out and then on the back of one of the frames, on the back inside of one of the frame backs, I think that's the way to say it, um, I just put PVA glue and then lay the hessian on and then just press that on and then I turned this upside down like hessian side down and put something heavy on it whilst it was drying. The glue dries clear it's just PVA so I didn't worry about being able to see the glue. Now for the other um, background for the other frame I just cut some chunky yarn this is very much like what I've done in the DIY hard garland video that you might have seen um, Oh, look at the snow outside. Oh, I just love the snow on the hills in the distance. It just looks so nice. This is the most snow I've had since I was a kid. <laughs> it's distracting me. So once I've caught enough yarn, and then just going to do exactly the same as the last one and just cover this with the PVA glue. This I use for everything. It's just normal school glue, craft glue. It dries clear as well. Like I say, this is probably just the best thing. I've just switched the light on here. Sorry if the light's a bit dodgy. It's just the snow clouds are making it so dark in here. So I'm just adding one by one each little length of yarn and just pushing it in to the glue. So I just continued this all the way down. Don't worry if it's overhanging the edges because once it's dry you can just trim that off. And then something heavy on it whilst it was drying. Once it, once it was dry, this is my favourite part because I love using these sharp scissors. Use sharp scissors to just trim off the extra. Now for the little rabbit motifs. Or I would say probably this is more like a rabbit and this is more like a hair. So this one I'm having on the linen and the other one on the hessian. So that's what I'm going to use to kind of create them. Now the linen is quite thin. I used this on my rabbit project. I think it was last week. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to glue the linen onto some card first. So I'm just using this cardboard because it's brown and it's not going to kind of be the wrong colour to kind of show through the material. And then I'm just laying the, the linen on here, turning this upside down and then just putting something heavy on and leaving that to dry. And next for the hessian uh, motif, I'm just putting glue on some hessian, literally, and then leaving it to dry, just so it doesn't fray, especially with it being something small and fiddly to cut out the hessian. I think this is a really good thing to do first. This doesn't take too long to dry, maybe it's an hour or so. Once it was dry, I then held the rabbit 
onto the hessian and then just cut round it. If you feel better kind of drawing it on, you can just be careful that you don't um, leave lines that you're going to see. But I found this was quite simple to do with it just being a small thing to hold. So once I cut both of, both of my bunny rabbit motifs out, I then put the backs back into the frames. So I put in this hessian one in first, just pushing it in. They went in fairly easily, although I did have to trim off a little bit of yarn um, when I was putting the yarn one in. So obviously we're not using the glass here, so just put the glass away somewhere safe. I probably think about a DIY I can make <laughs> using the glass. Haven't thought about it yet, but it's in the back of my mind. So just fasten it in. I haven't painted the backs of the frames, I might do later. It's just for quickness, I haven't done that yet. So that's the two backs done. So now this is the difficult bit for me, deciding which way around to have them, to put the motifs on and decide. I was, was originally going to have them this way and then hang them together on the wall. Um, but then I decided I really preferred the hair on the picture frame turned the other way around, like portrait. So once I kind of put them in position, I just um, used some scissors, sharp scissors, to cut some of the hessian out. Um, just cutting out a couple of little birds. It just felt like it was missing something over the top of the picture here. So uh, there was plenty of the kind of glued hessian, if you know what I mean. Um, so that I could just um, cut this out without it dropping to bits. So I've just done two little birds on here. This is quite fiddly, but like I say, as long as you've glued the hessian, it makes it so much easier. So I just used glue, PVA glue again, just to glue on the hair and the um, little birds. Next, I used hot glue just for quickness. You could easily use PVA glue and just kind of weight this rabbit down. But it was just much easier to use hot glue with it being quite rigid. And then I just pushed it on to the frame, to one side of the frame so it looked like it was running. And then I cut out some tiny little strips of um, of the linen and just use PVA glue to stick them on just to give it kind of, I don't know what these are called, but they're just kind of movement marks, I'm calling them, just to kind of make it look like the rabbit's kind of more animated and kind of moving fast. So that is it. That's probably the fiddliest bit of the whole project, but um, I'm really happy with the way they've turned out and they can stand that way and the other one can just stand upright. So I'm going to head over to my entrance room and just pop these on the window ledge. And I've put them on the window ledge um, where I've got the DIY hot garland I made a few weeks ago because I think they match in perfectly because I use a very similar technique um, with the yarn kind of just gluing it on. So I think that goes quite well. Apologies that the light's just a bit weird today. Uh, I've got a still here where you can have a proper look at them. There you go. You can see them properly here. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this week's DIY. I shall see you next Friday with another. So bye for now.
take a look at what happens to my dog when she goes out in the snow for any longer than two minutes. 